Hello Bloodborne PD peers and welcome back to another episode of Methodical Gamer. Today we'll be taking a look at Largarius's wheel. To properly wield this weapon you will need 20 strength, 12 dexterity, and 10 arcane. At plus 10 this weapon scales with an S in strength and a C in arcane. Alright, so let's talk about Largarius's wheel. It's a church type weapon, so you're going to receive an extra 30% damage rate from any enemy that's susceptible to its attacks. However, seeing this is a PvP build, that information doesn't really pertain to us all that much. But I did want to get that out of the way in case any of you guys were wondering about this weapon. And the other thing that doesn't exactly pertain to my build is the cool L2 bot that you've seen this weapon do before. And I'll get to more of that in a minute. Alright, so the whole deal with the L2 buff, I'm going to explain how that works. So once you transform your weapon into from one wheel into two wheels, you have the option to hit the L2 button, and it buffs your weapon. And it comes at the cost of HP. So the first time you buff your weapon, you're going to lose 1% of your health every second. The second time is 2%, third time is 3%, and the fourth time is 4%. And it will continuously drain your health until you switch back into the original form of your weapon. Because Bloodborne PvP with and of itself has become this long drawn out process because healing is one more accessible and two is more acceptable, um, I see that the loss of HP from a weapon buff is very detrimental to the build itself. So I choose not to do that with the weapon. And I'll do that in the way that I allocate my stats so that I don't scale with arcane because the buff gives you an arcane damage boost. So I don't allocate points into arcane for that boost. So you can see in reference back to my stats in the very beginning that I rely solely on the S scaling from the strength. I see that as the most efficient way of input of stats to output of DPS. And the only way to make that buff somewhat reliable is to have the hard cap set for your arcane on top of that having excellent arcane gems. And that's the only way I could really see making the buff a viable option in PvP. So my advice for this build is to do what I did and rely on the strength scaling and take those extra points and put them into your health or your stamina. So with that out of the way, I'd like to talk about how I use the weapon or how I see its purpose in PvP. Largarius' will has two functions in PvP that I think it does better than any other weapon in Bloodborne. First thing that I see that Largarius' will does a lot better than any other weapon is is chase down slash beat down whatever you want to call it move set the sprint r1 or the dash r1 if you have p opponents that are wanting to uh, heal a lot or they're wanting to backpedal a lot the dash r1 is the quickest way to put a stop to that this weapon covers so much ground and the timing of it lines up perfectly so when your opponent's backstepping it's hard for them to manage their spacing and timing and it usually gets them punished and the second thing that is great about Largarius' will is the fact that it's good for trading blows with your opponent. However, this is not how I like to play PvP, but the thing to note is Largarius' will is a good bit slower than most weapons in Bloodborne. The good thing, however, is this weapon staggers opponents for a little bit longer than most other weapons do, and the DPS of trading blows if you just keep hitting your opponent, you're going to come out on top most of the time. However, again, it's not how I like to play, but just so you know. Guys, if you enjoyed this video or learned something, please hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, play smart and keep on winning.